Filters are an incredible tool for photographers, but using them, it's always been annoying and time consuming. As a commercial portrait photographer, most of my work is related with outdoor flash photography. And for that, ND filters are basic. I like to work with shallow depth of field on my portraits, but the bright sun might force me to use higher F numbers to keep the light controlled. To be able to open my aperture, I only have two options, the famous high speed sync or the ND filters. And the filters are the best option by far. And for the zoom is a quick release system that will allow you to change your filters in the quickest and easiest possible way. Hi, I'm John Hernandez and today I'm going to show you how to use ND filters for portrait photography. But before that, let me show you the filter system I use, the Manfrotto Zoom. As you know, Manfrotto has been doing high quality filters for quite a long time now. Zoom is a quick release system that allows me to change those filters in the easiest possible way. You just need to attach the lens adapter to your lens and the filter adapter to your filter you're good to go. The zoom system works with magnets. It's compatible with all cameras and lenses and it's completely safe for your memory cards. As you can see, if you work with filters, this is a game changer. You use it once and you will never want to live without it anymore. Just put an adapter in each of your filters and an adapter in each of your lenses and it will incredibly boost your workflow with filters. Today I have a fitness shooting and I'm going to take you with me to show you how I use ND filters for portrait photography with flash outdoors. And I will show you as well why the ND filters is a much better option than using the high speed sync. Right, so here we are at the location and we're almost ready to shoot, but let me quickly explain you why we need ND filters for portrait photography. She is Anne, is my model for today, and we're gonna do a very simple fitness shot. So the scene is gonna be pretty much as you see, but I'm gonna underexpose the sun and light her with a flash to give it a more commercial look. To get the sun where I want it, I get one over 200 of a second at F22 and ISO 200, and my flash is at full power. As you can see, the light is perfect and it's already a killer shot. But the F22 is giving me much more deep of field than what I want. If I shot a 2.8, I will get a much more three-dimensional look. Here is where I have two options. I could raise my shutter speed and go on high speed sync if the system allowed, or I could go with an ND64 filter that will take six stops of light. I choose the filter because it allows me to keep the light separated. Let me explain. If I wanted to do it with high speed sync, I will have to raise my shutter six stops to compensate the aperture. Even if I could reach that, the problem would be that I would lock the sun and the flash onto the shutter speed. So if I change my shutter speed, it will affect both lights. On the other hand, if I use an ND filter, I can separate the lights. Because if I change my shutter, it will only affect the sun. That way, I keep the lights separated. That separation of light allows me to correct very quickly changes on the ambient during my shot. If I get the cloud passing by, I can go from 1 over 200 of a second to 1 over 100 and continue working with the same exposure. While with high speed sync, I will have to start over the balance process. As you can see, ND filters are basic for portrait photography. They allow us to use big apertures on sunny days and still be in full sync with our flashes. Having different density filters makes it easier to be ready for different situations. And with the zoom system from Manfrotto, changing from one filter to another, it's easy, safe, and most important, quick. 